Big up dancing clear. Everything clear. And roll it cool it. Show sure, remember me tell us how you roll it. <laughs> yeah, you know the rubber dub, caveman, garden, a yes over there, full dust, dancing clear and roly coolie, remember me tell you. A yes so nice. Big up for the works we're gonna do car right now. Remember me tell you now, enough people who not big up. Enough people who not bust out. Yes, dancing clear, big up for them kind of works. Yeah. Car right now, a global. Viral, international, and out. Welcome, welcome, people. It's Unruly Cooley with the Don Sinclair and the rest of the team here in Kingston. Right now, we're in none other than Caveman's studio, and we have with us Caveman himself. Greetings, Caveman. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Love, 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 love. love. Right, caveman. So I'm going to give you some quick fire questions. If you can give us some quick fire answers, um, and we can be able to get through them all. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to start off with who inspired you into the whole music business. It's really my dad. Your uh, dad. My dad. He's the one that started playing music around us. Um, he used to be at. 36 Charles Street, mm -hmm. where Lee Scratchberry had a record shop. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so he introduced me from a tender age from back in the 60s. Yeah. How to be around this turntable thing and right, playing right. records. And yeah, yeah. So did you fall into it easy or did, was it a, a gradual thing? It's gradual because one thing with my dad, he always exposed to the things that he's doing them kind of way. So, yeah, yeah. You know, we, we, we got the chance. To be around him doing that, you know, mm -hmm. doing farm a little song for himself back in the 70s. Nice, you know? nice. And what was his sound called? Did you remember them? It's always gave one. Oh, so he started with the caveman name and he yes. followed it through. Wow, that is interesting. So when you think of your dad and, and the kind of music he was playing in the house, is there anything particular, um, a particular track or record or, or, or music song or something that reminds you of your dad? Uh, Prince Ala when he Buzz Rock. Right, right. Yeah, because it's my dad who introduced me to a track like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we know now where the sound name came from, so followed from your dad. Um, so if you didn't call it Caveman, say if your dad wasn't doing the music, what would you have called it? You know, I don't even think of that because the name Caveman becomes not just a name, it's, it's more a spiritual vibration. Mm -hmm. Because we check it as deep as the first church that was yeah. ever created. It's, it's in a cave that's yeah. that's in Ethiopia. In Ethiopia. We don't yeah. want to climb up the road to go yeah, in that yeah. cave, and, you know. And they call it the chapel in the sky. Yes. Yeah. So you know we we we, we even connected to that. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Okay. So how would you describe your sound system and your music? Well, my sound system is directly a sound system of culture. We, we, we are very, very serious about preserving culture. Yeah. You know, the, the clean part of our existence. That's what my son is all about. Yeah, yeah, nice. So, have you been doing any clashes or anything like that? Back in the days, we did some early clashes with like Kilimanjaro and Black Scarpio and, you know. What was your first one that you did? Do you remember? I saw a name, Young Girl Promotion, way up in the hills, okay. way up in Rock Hall, yeah. inside. Yeah. How did, you feel? How did you feel doing that? Was you nervous? Because it's like your first time. No, song. it was really that because we had like a team of us going out yeah. there, so it's like a, a joy for us to go out there and, oh. you know. Nice. And that sound system, you had um, Rapper Roberts and Tipali at the time and Horace Martin. And we were clashing against that song. And right. We won. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so, so why did you stop? Why have you stopped doing it? No. As we say, it's culture we deal dealing with. Yeah, yeah. And key one sound system is established as a sound system that goes for the Rastafari culture. Yeah, yeah. The artist in that we promote is of that vibration. Yeah. Okay. So, I choose now to go the rubber dog way because that is my original way mm -hmm. my sound system comes from one turntable yeah. we play the vocal mm -hmm. 
and they will flip the version and artists will be riding that. Yeah. So that is really the true caveman sound system. Okay. You know, okay. we just come adapt this whole juggling thing because it's like a hip thing, everybody yeah. with it. So yeah, yeah. you know, we, we we but we always try to keep it as cultural as possible. Right. Like back in the nineties, you know, whether you're a Bushman, a yeah. Sizzler, mm -hmm. Crescentia, Luciano, or Capitan, or John Mason, that's our crew. Yeah. That's the set of artists that's always around caveman. So we play that kind of music. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if somebody was trying to um, start up their own sound, what three important things do you think they need to have? Well, what they need to have is a good sound system. Mm -hmm. They need to have people with sense selecting yeah. the music because that is very, very important. And they have to be people that is focusing what yeah. is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't just play anything. Mm -hmm. You have to be people that is focusing the sure. crowd and do what is necessary to have that crowd going. Sure, yeah, yeah. So if you was to hold a dance now, obviously not clutching, um, but holding a dance, what other sounds would you like to have there? To say well, my love, my love, Sound like Metro Media, me love Scorpio, me love Stone Love. Mm -hmm. Them sound like Jaro. Because yeah. you know, a big people sound them, and when you play with them sound system, there. Yeah. Yeah, them help to enhance the culture. Yeah. Yeah. Some people, because them feel like, well, them come against a caveman or a Stone Love, them forget rude and sure. start getting disrespectful and. The profanity. We don't really believe that. Yeah. 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 Because me see that really have mashed down the music instead of beat. True. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so if somebody, a young person, let's say, because you do a lot of recording and producing, etc. A young person was trying to start up in the uh, music industry as an artist. Mm -hmm. What would you advise them? Well, I would advise artists, young and upcoming, is to First and foremost, write proper lyrics. Yeah. You can't be writing lyrics that people can't understand. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're thinking of going international, you have to have um, clarity yeah. in what you're saying. Mm -hmm. People can understand what you're saying. Yeah. You know, don't make music difficult. And you have to be healthy, you have to be fit. Yeah. Yeah. Education is key. Mm -hmm. yeah. Paramount. Because you, you have to read contracts, you have to do business with people. That's right. Yeah. And worse, the business than digital now. So everything is, you have to be reading, you have to be counting, you have to be on it. Yeah. yeah. And discipline. Mm -hmm. A lot of artists. Even some of them that is big, they go overseas and have run in with people because of attitude and tempers flaring. Yeah. Sometimes it's because of the wrong way or they do the business. True. So, as we say, discipline. If you don't understand certain things, ask questions. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, so you get clarity. Mm -hmm. Have the right attitude. Have the right attitude. Yeah, because you're a product, you're selling yourself. Mm -hmm. So you have to make yourself marketable. Yeah, okay. So normally I would ask, what are your top five dubs of all time? But I guess you've been producing music and recording artists. We can talk about what your favorite artists are that you've recorded and just mention a few. Well, a lot of great artists who I record over the years is so numerous and yeah. enough, but Sizzler, yeah. you know, Fred Lux, um, the one next bad singer around me named Eyes Is Eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, we love record them, man. Prince Allah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. Are Ken, they easy to work with? Very. Yeah. Ken Booth, mm -hmm. Colonel Campbell. Yeah, they're man, they're easy. The whole selection easy there. to work with. Yeah. I could just go on and on yeah. and on. There's so much artists, you know. So, 
Did you at any point ever buy dub plates yourself? Obviously, when you was yes, yeah. So, what was the first one that you bought? Well, the first one that I bought is at King Toby's. Oh, okay. First time cutting dub plate, mm -hmm. it was at King Toby's. Yeah. The master himself cut it him and cut a um, singing melody. Right. And um, Trilla You back mm -hmm. then. And um, a group in Cultural Roots. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Right. So, what are your top genres of music? Reggae, number mm -hmm. one. Number one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you know. Um, Do you listen to other stuff? Yeah, I mean, yeah. listen to other stuff because, you know. The dance hall, mm -hmm. when it's clean and nice and the rhythm right. Yeah, yeah. 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 I love that. Okay. I love miracle R and being the soul music. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I grew up on those. Mm -hmm. You know? Alright. And we love African music. Yeah. Yeah. In general. There's a lot of that at the moment just going around the globe, especially in the UK with the Afro beats. Yeah, very man. big right now. I love I love right now we just created one with a with a with a brother named Mono. Okay. From from Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Um this instrument is called the Embira. Right. Where it he explained to me that the history of this instrument is that it's before slavery. It's before Christianity. Right. It was one of the main instruments used when what is it? Uh, is it like a, a guitar? It's a, it's a small. Strings? No, it's not a guitar. It's a, it's a small little thing like this mm -hmm. with some metallic thing that have different notes. Wow. And we created a a a, a rhythm. A, a, we just use the live trap set like yeah, yeah. in a reggae mm -hmm. drum pattern. Yeah. And we use that thing to play the bass and to play the rhythm section. No guitars. Mm -hmm. No keyboards. Just it with a little naya bingi drumming yeah, and yeah. percussion. And when he sent back to Zimbabwe just Saturday. Yeah. Man said, okay, man, this is excitement. <laughs> the whole of Zimbabwe mash up. Yeah. That's well, nice. this, 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 the people going crazy. Yeah. It's the first it's ever happened. Yeah. We reused the Inbira to create a reggae. Oh wow. Naya bingi kind yeah. of groove. Yeah. And we had an artist named my sister, I sing a mm -hmm. lovely song on it. Yeah. Trust me. We'll have to keep our eyes and ears out for that track then. Yes. Then, right? yes. You're producing at the moment, or it's not released yet? No? It's we, we, what we did, we did a little video snippets of we created it and the artist doing nice. it. Nice. And mixed it and so we created a little mini, mini video. Yeah. Right now it's on IG, it's on Facebook, and okay. it's going viral. Right. Everyone saying, Caveman. Okay, <laughs> First we hearing this, but this is beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So looking at your journey and looking back through your journey in music, is there anything you ever look back at and think, oh, if I was to go back to that time, I would do this differently? Is there anything that you think of that you would perhaps do differently? Yeah. I see things where we could I do be different if I'm back then. You know, but I guess sometimes circumstances prevented that from happening from yeah. that time. So he's I want to believe in a time. Yeah. So probably that wasn't the time. That's right. Nothing happens before it's time, right? So yeah. you know. Yeah. All right. So say if he was still clashing, right? Is there anyone out there that you think I'd like to clash them? I know you're not on the clashing thing now, but you've gone past that. But is there anyone out there that you think? We came on a bad song, you know, I'm afraid of nobody <laughs> still, you know. Trust me. You hear that, yeah? I'm afraid of nobody, man. We play music, man. Yeah. And it's fun and joy to me. Uh -huh. It's just that I choose to uh, unite my people, you know, instead of pulling them apart. Yeah, yeah. You know? But me have clash dog, man. Me, me, me have some serious dog to man. If people yeah. want to play them, man, a serious thing up, man. Yeah. Is there any artists out there, around the globe, that you'd like to record or produce something with? Let's say living uh -huh. and dead, right? People that are already gone, or is there anybody that you... Like, yeah, I would have love to produce a whole for the man in which I already but you know? Mm -hmm. As we say, circumstances prevented it from happening yeah. and dead. But right now, I see some whole 
young artists mm -hmm. coming our way. Yeah, man, I would do something with them. Yeah. Artists and give them the key of man style of producing. Uh -huh. You know? Yeah. Like a, a chronics. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and, um, what is your name? Jesse Royal. Jesse Royal. Like yeah. I'm sure they're you listening. Know? You hear that, guys? Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> then you they are going and make good music. Yeah, man. And yeah. then and then they on the page where we where we where we, where we dip on with the music too. Yeah. You know, see the all the junior gang, all them man, they will love this up with them man, the mm -hmm. two cars. Yeah. Yeah. I hear them you can make some music where, yeah, thought provoking music where. Conscious music. Conscious music, man. Yeah. Because this is where we need the music to be at right now. You know, we need solution music. Yeah. We can sing about problems every mm -hmm. day and what what yeah. man is doing and the system, but. What you put into the table now to make we can make a change. Yeah, yeah. So this is the songs now I encourage the artists Positive, to come in to make them kind of song, you know. Inspiration, so yes, yes, yes. Okay. So if um, you was to travel in any country around the globe, around the world, where would you like to go and take your caveland sound? And Africa. Africa. Anywhere particular? Well. I built a student in Zimbabwe. Right. In Asisla, so you know we have something operational because That's even nice. when I was there I produced an artist by the name of Ilara. Mm -hmm. Beautiful voice. Yeah. She does um some mini movies there to an acting and uh, she's very active yeah. entertainment wise. So I did an album with her and two or two albums there. Okay. One had released but she released one. Yeah. You know, and the next artist named My Kindity. You know, and our South Africa now you have Jazz Seed. Right, yeah, yeah. From Bongo Muffin. Mm -hmm. man, I did even produce a song with him and Sisla on that album that I released with Sisla. Yeah. Okay. The Chant album, yeah. Nice. So, your plans and your visions for Caveman for the rest of the year, well, what does that look like? Well, it's a whole heap of thing. I'm planning to keep a whole heap of this rubber dog garden thing. Yeah. I'm gonna move it island wide. Yep. Yeah. And people are requesting it for overseas too. Nice. Yeah. So you know, I'm gearing up for that. People are requesting it because they love this kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. The original thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, nice. You know. Alright. Okay, so thank you. Thank you very much for your time and uh, for sharing your stories and your journeys, your thoughts and opinions. Um, is there any message that you have for myself and Ruli Cooley and Don Sinclair and the rest of the team for the works that we're doing? Keep doing this thing because this I Never Knew TV is doing wonders and I must congratulate you. I've watched a lot of the videos and it's so inspiring, educational and I would tell enough of the youths them watch these videos because you'll learn a lot what these people are doing is phenomenal yeah you, you can't pay them for this trust me the amount of exposure that our culture is getting where sometimes the, the, the struggle that we have got to forget some little be seen time mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so dancing clear big up Big up yourself, Mama. You are the fire, Mama. You, know? <laughs> oh, thank you. And you always I bring the vibes, you know? and we love you for that. Yeah, I never knew. Now you knew. Yeah. Caveman in the venue. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, that's our interview with the one and only Caveman in Kingston, in his studios. Thank you very much. Subscribe or watch the interview and all the rest of the interviews we have for you guys from Jamaica. 2024.